Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on my channel. Um, I just wanted to come here and I was bored. <laughs> so I was scrolling on YouTube and seeing the challenges and I know there was a challenge for a while that was the three marker challenge, but I don't really use markers. So I'm not sure if anybody else has done this. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to do a three paint challenge since my medium is acrylic I have actually a box full of acrylic paints and I wanted to randomly choose three paints so that way I can do the challenge all right I think that is enough of mixing so what I'm gonna do is turn the box around so that way I have like really no idea of which paint is where, so I'm just gonna close my eyes. Alrighty. Alright. So I hope you guys can see it, but I'm gonna choose three random color with. So the first one I'm gonna choose is this one. I'm not gonna look yet until I choose all three. Hopefully, I'm in frame. So I'm just gonna set it here. That's the first one. Second one is this one. And last is this one. Okay, the three colors that I chose was, it is a more of a peachy pink. This one is a steel blue. And this one is a bright red. So these are the three colors that I picked. Okay, so out of everything, like I said, these are the three colors I am going to be using for my three acrylic paint challenge but I'm not gonna try to mix these like the colors together to get another color I'm just gonna try to use them as solid colors and overlap them if I need to um, so let me get started with the challenge and I will see you guys at the end of the video bye so I did end up drawing off camera a sketch of a mushroom at first I didn't know what to draw at all I had to step back and really think about the colors I think that's what made it diff difficult was the color range and figuring out what I wanted to paint. If I had pre-sketched something, then it would have been easier, yes, but I wanted to just wing it basically. Uh, my whole visual was to do a mushroom on a tree stump, but it was really hard being able to describe that it was a tree trunk. So I just made a really weird texture to that design, making it look like it was popping out like you can see through the trunk um i don't know it's really hard to describe what i was doing honestly i like i said i was just winging it and going with the whole challenge i do think it made it harder not being able to mix the colors together and using them as solid colors but it was fun along the way i do think everybody should try this challenge try not mixing them it makes it makes it a whole lot harder I really have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time.
right, you guys, this was the end result of the three paint challenge. I used, again, to recap, a coral color, a bright red, and a steel blue. Those were my three random picks, and this is what I came up with. Uh, let me see if I can give you a closer look. So, it was kind of difficult to figure out what to actually um, paint in the first place. So it did take some time. I ended up coming up with a mushroom design. And this is exactly how it came out. It came out with, I used the, I tried not to mix too many of the colors together and blend. I wanted to use it as a solid color. So this is basically how it came out. I did really enjoy the challenge um, to you only use three random colors. If these colors I would never put together, like just for this painting, no, it was kind of difficult. I wanted to mix in white and black and change tones. And if it if I did it differently, it would come out with the colors I would want. But I do recommend it for artists to try it. It is it does get your mind going and makes you express different colors and shades and it's basically just really fun so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys next time um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to have any ideas on anything else you want me to do just leave it below thank you and see you later bye